funny. I do that. I talk like that. No worries. It's just, I was reading this thing about whether your cat or your dog would be the first to eat you if you died alone. And what was the answer? In my case, the cat. The dog's a pleaser. Do you ever think about what we do to dogs? They're pack animals. So we rip them from their mother and litter mates so early that they cleave to us out of pure neurosis and longing. It's cruel. That has got to be the most dismal outlook on man's best friend I ever heard. Think about it. They always say he had a happy life, she had a happy life. Dogs, people. I mean, how the fuck do they know? It means what? That they were willing slave, maybe, or forced to smile when people looked at them? Wagged their tail, fetched a ball? How's that necessarily a happy life? Maybe that dog wanted to be a cat all his life. He took that secret to the grave. What's happy anyway? I believe in hope, happiness. I'm optimistic. I think we're here for a reason, and it's about being happy. Happy with ourselves, happy with others. My late wife was full of that spirit, too. We used to spend a lot of time here. This was one of our benches. She used to always say, whatever happens, I want you to be happy. There's too much love in you to stay alone. Go out and find a nice girl. Kind of ironic. I don't think I like people enough. Humans, I mean. As a species, I think we're a blight on the planet. Like a cancer. I keep hoping a plague would wipe out most of us. Without the smell, of course. But maybe if, like, 650,000 of the coolest people were around still, and the animals could basically take over, and the plants could grow over the cities, that sort of thing. The best thing I can do is not add to the problem. I definitely like to meet someone. It's taken its time, though. Uh, I think I come off a bit too romantic, I guess. I should be meaner. Uh, fact is, I'd like to get moving on with my life. Have kids. I grew up in a big family, and I like that. Like being a dad. Just like in those old movies, Father Knows Best. Old school, I guess. But I just know the right one is out here somewhere. So we made a film called It's About Love. What, you made a film. Right, I made a film. Right, I mean, take credit where it's due. I had a lot of help, though. I met Rachel during the making of that movie, and we decided to make this one. Right. Anyway, we made that movie, It's About Love, and I didn't expect to meet Rachel, but I did, and something clicked. You need a therapy. I was confused. Everyone was confused. Anyway, we made that film, and it ended up reaching some people, and they liked it. So we decided we wanted to meet some new people and make another film. But you wanted to. Right. I wanted to. I love you, but you need to own your own shit. Basically, if I was a breeder, I could skive off whenever I wanted and do half the work for the same money. No doubt. No doubt. Don't you think it's important that people raise future generations? Isn't that what life is all about? No, that's my point. It isn't good. It isn't useful. It's destructive. People are too fucking stupid to breed. <laughs> but where's the hope for humanity? Fuck humanity. We're a plague on the planet. And the worst part is that smart people don't breed as much as ignorant ones do, so where's the hope for humanity there? 
do you know that? And who are you to decide who's worthwhile? My parents loved me. They didn't need an IQ test to have me. Well, that's great for you. I mean it. It's just... Well, from what you've told me, you know, maybe you didn't get the best parenting growing up, but your parents sounded like they were very smart by any measure. I know where the bodies are buried. All of them. The government. <laughs> so, do you have a thesis for this movie? Uh, maybe. Nah, I'm not, maybe I'm not sure. Typical. Sure, but you know, maybe the doing leads to the thesis, right? How so? Well, Call it a further exploration. Of? Love. Ah, uh, there's that word again. Okay, so what do you think? About? About the movie, the thesis. It's not my movie. Right, but I mean, you're helping, right? So it's kind of yours too, isn't it? Not mine, sorry. <sighs> right. You need to own your own shit, David. Right. I'll help you because I love you. But you own it. Got me? Gotcha. So... Mm -hmm. What do you think about love? Oh, for fuck's sakes. You know what I think about love. Read my book. Again. I think it's overrated. Fuck off. <laughs> I have some to spare, honestly. Uh, I don't know if I'm remembering it accurately or fairly, or maybe it's a culture thing. But I seem to recall a time when you fell in love with a person for what they were. You know, whether it was inside or maybe their virtues, the way they thought, or their mind. I don't know. Um, now everything, everything just seems like it's so transactional or something. You know, everything's on a computer. You, 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 you know, tick this box if you got a fancy car and stuff. It's all pictures. You know, people change their profile pictures. And then when you give them attention, they complain because they don't want the unwanted attention. When did everything get so combative? I don't understand. It's sad. Don't mind me, but you seem like you'd have some better options in life. Than? Sitting here. What's wrong with sitting here? Well, I don't know. I'm enjoying myself. Well, that's nice. So I thought about what you said. I'm sorry? About the dog, the cat, about eating him. Oh, that whole thought. So? So what if the dog genuinely loves you? No, not possible. Why not? I mean, forget about the neuroses and being ripped from the pack and all that, or however you put it. What if, for whatever reason, the dog has come to be really bonded to you, so much so that he or she would defend you with her life. But it's programming. No, love. I mean, the dog would probably chase the cat, who likely sees you as a meal ticket or an old familiar face at best. So who's old all of a sudden? What? Old. You said old. Old familiar face? No, familiar as in friendly. Anyway, I put up a gate. They can fight each other for all I care and let the winner win. I just think we've evolved beyond romantic love. It's exciting because we're stretching our brains in order to cope with more and more. It's kind of like a cool athletic challenge. And when you take breeding out of the equation, it's like the controlled extinction of a useless destructive species. 
kind of like an art installation. Once the other animals and plants and stuff take back over, everything will go back to being in balance. I get a lot of enjoyment from that idea. I'm not sure what motivated me to make the first movie. I think I was just curious about people and love. People and love. I'd see all these people around the neighborhood and, you know, year after year, and I'd wonder why they weren't with anybody, or, or, or so it seemed. I'd always grown up believing that love was like the highest state of being and, and the only thing really worth striving for. My partner would call that an attachment disorder, something I didn't get when I was little. I guess, I mean, I find it hard to be that clinical about it. The more I think back on it, though, I was always in love with love. I saw the world in pairs. I'd see two rocks side by side in the field and, and decide they were married. If they were small enough, I'd even bring them home with me. So, you really don't think there's anything redeeming about humanity? Humanity? Nope. Wow. Individual people, yes. Humanity, no. Don't get me wrong. I like this, for example, being here with you. Oh, good. I guess that makes me subhuman. Very funny. I think you know what I mean. As a species, I just think we're fucked. We're too stupid and we never learn. That's pretty bleak. Well, yeah, it's bleak. But there's moments, right? Let's enjoy the moment. Sure, why not? And don't breed. Right. like it here, don't you? <laughs> you know, there is geomagnetic force between those two benches. They pull in different entities, according to whatever the plan is. The whole thing. I can see it, you know? When my husband died, I decided I was free at last. I haven't wanted to do anything but whatever I want. Which is not much. Wasn't much of a marriage either. There was nothing wrong with it, but there was nothing right with it either. We were a habit, I guess. The animals brought us together a bit, but that was about it. I don't like people. Marriage will do that to you. You get a completely unvarnished look into the soul of another person and there's really nothing in there except shit, farts, and bile. I just want to live out my time and die. My animals can eat me. I hope I liquefy a bit first, though, and soak into the hardwood floor. That'll be my farewell gift to the landlord. My wife was my everything. When she got sick, we made the most of what we had left. We were always inseparable. This was one of our favorite spots, here, around the lagoon, the Roto Garden. We had a lot of time together, which was the greatest gift. She was really concerned that, that I stay upbeat when she had to go, and that I not wallow. She said I needed love, and I had a lot of love to give. I'm not motivated, though. I 
am happy for both our sakes. It's not religious or anything, but I think we built a special place together. One that transcends light. We used to always say, wherever there's love, we'll be there. Um, David is li like a bit of a child, and I don't necessarily mean that in a good way. He's like the permanent youngest sibling, just wandering around, waiting for the universe to be nice to him. I think it was that quality that drew me to him, unfortunately, despite myself. But he was just out there like some unguarded grub or something. And there I was clubbing him over the head with my realism. and. I could see that he was just drinking this up. And I'm thinking, wow, is, is this guy immune to realism or something? Taking it back. And I'm thinking, wow, is this guy immune to, to cynicism or something? There was something. I mean, I wasn't looking to be with anyone. Least of all, someone with self-sufficiency issues. But it's there. I mean, you can see it in the first movie, a sort of unison or harmony. It's not logical, but it's there. So how long has it been? Almost a year. Hmm. Well, does that seem long or short? Both, actually. It seems like it just happened, and it also seems like she's been gone a long time. Mm, I hear you. I think he died a long time before he actually died. So I was ready for it in a way. I don't know. Then there's times I still talk to him. The animals probably think I'm nuts. Good eating, though. In their dreams, funny guy. I miss humor. Maybe more than anything, really. Well, at least you had it. Fair enough, fair enough. I get a chuckle out of you, though. That's something, hopefully. It is, thanks. How long has it been for you? A few months now. Recently then? Yeah. But, like I said, long time dead, recently deceased. Yeah, sounds like maybe not the best situation. Yeah, well, I wasn't the best company either. Really? I'm surprised. I get that, you know? I know. I'm not impervious to these little quips of yours. Already I have quips. Yeah. yeah. I see what you're doing. Y you think I need some white knight of positivity or something. I don't. So be miserable then. Who says I'm miserable? Not me. Maybe I'm having fun. What? I would have made the balloon animals for you back in the day. It was all here. This is where everything was. This is where everything happened. This is where everything is buried. Crack me up. Oh, good. Don't you want to know why? Okay, why? The way you look at everyone with that big smile on your face. I like seeing life going on. Why, particularly? It's just all in how you see it. I choose to see the best in people. Getting along. 
families. That's what I mean. You're so hopeful. Don't you see the same things as me? I don't know. Maybe not. What do you see? I see liars, narcissists, self-centered, undermining freaks. <laughs> go where you go. What? I don't know. Maybe you see what you want to see. Maybe it's a mirror. Whoa. I don't know. What about me? Am I all those things? No, not you. I didn't mean that. Reflections on humanity reflect on me. I, you know, I get that you didn't have the best upbringing, but you could choose not to bring that forward. I'm sorry, but my reflections and beliefs aren't anything to do with you. Check your own self-absorption, man. I see things the way I see them, and they have nothing to do with you or how you see them. Okay. Let's see where you're going with that. Uh, you know, people try their best. Your parents did the best that they could. And maybe family is overrated. And maybe we're conditioned through dependence to act like we need them or they're important. But the fact is that our families are our worst enemies and lousiest friends. Okay. Those are the facts. Wait. You're not supposed to agree with me. Are we seeing a theme? Hopelessness? Futility? No, there's hope. Some positivity. There's that word again. You hate that word. I hate meaningless left coast twaddle. Uh-huh. I mean, say shit or don't say it. None of this namby-pamby. Dancing with the angels. Manifesting the divine. Channeling the source. Bullshit. Bullshit. It all comes down to luck. Yes. Luck and investment. Well, I'm not sure I understand. Money? Love. Ah. Huh. We were talking about it the other day. <laughs> yeah, of course I remember. I hope you meet someone worthy of you. Well, I have my hands full with you for the moment. I know, that's why I bring it up. It's just for the moment, by the way. Oh, would you let me get my hopes up? Ah. Oh. Basically, I feel I can see what comes next. And I'm not worried. I've had a really great life. That shows on your face. Thanks. I've loved well lived well. Now I'm ready. This one seems to have gone smoother. Faster. Brisker. Brisker. Good people. Interesting. Maybe not so troubled. Like that. I wonder if that's because we chose them that way. Maybe, but I think I attracted some real oddballs in the first one. Mm -hmm. You maybe have a balancing effect on the approach. Or something. Or something. I guess I'm still hopeful that I might meet someone, but you know, if I don't, I'm just gonna keep being as positive as I know I can be. I'd rather be alone, you know, see people, see friends. I just don't wanna sink into that whole cynical mess of being dragged down or people using me or using them. You know what I mean? I like life. I'm having fun. I don't want to be brought down by people who are jaded and cynical all the time. Life is short, and it's sweet. It's there to be lived to the fullest and happiest, regardless of what happens. It all ends soon enough. I just don't want to lower myself to the level of being some idiot Pollyanna just so I can get along with people. I'm just not into the lowest common denominator. I can go to any coffee shop around here and see a bunch of open-mouthed, drooling morons going on about the weather and the price of bread. 
I'd rather be alone. I'm like Scrooge, too old to change. Let me keep misery in my own way, and then my animals can eat me. I'm all good. I know some fun people, co-workers, and friends. I like a vigorous debate, but I'm not going to change my outlook and life and humanity. I didn't ask to be born, but I'm making the most of it. And most importantly, I'm not passing on the mistake. I'm not interested in humanity continuing. And it makes me sick when people disregard my beliefs with this whole tut tut, you just haven't met the right people yet shit. Or religion. Seriously, fuck religion. There, I said it. Know me by my beliefs because I live them. It's so complete, warm, safe, protected. So are we done sprinkling love dust around? Maybe. Yeah. I like what we've got. You? I think so. I, I mean, did we miss anyone? We could always do another drift around. Oh, you know what? I think I'm too tired. But you can go. Mm. One last ride. One last ride. Mount em up, cowboy. I'll see you at home. You should get some rest, huh? Yeah. I need it. <laughs> So anyways, I was here, just from Kimberley, Manitoba, and I was staying around here, back in the day. There were rooming houses here, right there, but that was then. Oh, I saw a lot. I saw it all go down. And you know what? Everyone was in on it. The government, everyone. Oh, what I saw, I can't say. But I know where the bodies, I know where the bodies are buried. I can tell you that. No amount of balloon animals or anything can make that go away. It was Gimli. And nobody can talk about it. But I know. I know. I know where the bodies are buried. Where? Where are the bodies buried? Where their hearts stop beating. Get it? <laughs> 